Hi and welcome back this is Donna from Simple Online Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to go through and add in a plugin but not only that I'm going to show you how to add a plugin that's a contact form and I really think this is a great little um, plugin to have so we're going to come up here to plugins and click on add new and then we come down to the search area and we go fast secure and you'll see that it gives us a list of particular plugins and what we want to do is we want to then come through and in this particular instance I've just noticed that I actually have installed this one so it says update now so we're just going to update this because we had an old version of it sitting on here and then it tells you um, what you need to do next we want to go through and we want to activate this plugin and once you click activate plugin you scroll down You'll notice on the left hand side of the screen here it's got um, a little option and you click on options and then it'll come through and it'll ask you some information. He asks you to donate which is I think is a fantastic idea because it means that developers will go out there and continue uh, developing great free plugins such as this one. If you come down further on the page here you'll notice that you can come in and you can do an introduction. You can say welcome to Simple Online Solutions you've got a message please leave your comments etc and you'll just come down it'll drop you into the address that you want the email sent to it asks you do you want this connected with Achemist now I haven't used Achemist on here because um, I now use another plugin for my spam the last thing that we want to do is pop down the bottom here and look at our catch it forms to make sure that we've got them turned on and we're happy with them and the last thing is the redirect. Now you'll notice this is redirecting to how to auto uh, free auto responders because I'm installing it on here but I'm going to show what it looks like once you've gone through and you've clicked on update. Now there's just one more thing that you need to do when you go through is you actually need to grab the little bit of code that um, they give you at the top of the page here sorry for scrolling up and down. This little bit of code here you copy that code and then control and C and that's what you paste in your actual um, website page so step two of this process would be once you've clicked on the save button down the bottom pop over to pages and create a page called contact and then you go into that page and if you wait one moment I'll just quickly pop over there and show you so you can see here we go pages and we go add new and then we would create a page such as this one here called Contact Donna and I'm just going to edit that for two ticks and show you and here I put a little bit of information I appreciate your comments concerns and questions and then I put in here this SEI contact form which is what I just showed you before and I pasted it in and then when I'm ready I simply come along over here on the other side of my page and I click on update and come back to the front end of my Simple Online Solutions website and you'll see here it said contact Donna which was the information we first had and then it scrolls down and there is your contact form and a little bit of code down the bottom that people have to fill in this is just so that bots don't come through and you've got to put your message in and your little code and hit submit and that email will automatically be sent through to you so that's a very very quick uh, way to set up a contact page and at the same time we've learnt to install a plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.